Hello, my name is Gigon. I'm from Nancy Sehornbill TV. It's a Nagamis News Roundup channel. Ulitiros Christian Society, the Hans Foundation, and the Sorkari Department have a joint venture under Longbang Bosti Day, the People's Bridge, which is a 70 foot bridge laga launching program. The program is a program that is a program that is a program that is Chief Minister Nifirio Bra, the initiative to Manukan Laga Sugu Kulule Karne, and the Idudo Sub District to implement Kulule Lage. The type of laga model to Alak Area Kamra be Kulule Lage. Aro sorga brabi inika venture laga type to support guru ko ekina CM bra rate rate guru she. I be to laga detail report sawa. Video clips, but I would like to come see myself and also talk to the community, and I want to thank them. This should be an eye opener. And this should be implemented in all the districts, wherever it is required. I will discuss with my colleagues and we will see how we can partnership the convergence of various departments with the trust or foundations who will also come forward. And then the community should take the responsibility, the ownership, only then it is possible. You are aware, not only in Nagaland, but in the country also, the government undertakings, the PSUs, all felt economically not viable. And that's why during Vajpayee Prime Minister time, and even is going on very strongly, not investment to the public undertakings, but it is disinvestment now. Everything, even lettuce is the here in India, so much competitive and therefore we have to reach our destination on time. So we have so much recognition about our tradition. We have uh, UN, uh, UN awards also for communitization. We have recognitions even in customary law and that's how even the country came forward about this method of fast track court. Our customary court doesn't take time, doesn't cost you, and keep people, uh, give justice, and keep people happy. The initiative taken, this model should be taken to other areas as I expected. And my government will be supportive in this joint venture. Unless the stakeholders take the ownership. I used to comment, the best building in the village is the church building. The biggest, the best, and the worst building is the school building. So, we have to see that our schools are made attractive for the students to spend time. And coming together bring changes. And therefore, we should multiply this concept. Uh, can you tell us more about this whole new concept of convergence that, uh, you know, the whole uh, function that we've been talking about with everyone? And can you just tell us a little bit more if this is a new concept that should be taken very seriously? Yeah. Actually, um, I think in a state like Nagaland where we are having resource constraints, uh, I think this is a beautiful way of, you know, different people with their own capabilities coming. Because here in this bridge, what we saw was, uh, you found that the engineers came and designed the bridge. Um, then uh, the CM Corpus Fund came and said, okay, we would like to, you know, put in resources. Then the local MLA came and said, okay, because if you look at that bridge, it would have costed us around three, four crores. But the fact that the villagers came and they broke the stones and, you know, it made as though that the bridge was doable. I think that is uh, the beauty of it. But I think the most important thing is, besides government bringing their expertise and their resources, I think it's also about communities owning the process and saying, this is our bridge. 
I think that's more sustainable in the long run where people don't look at it as a government bridge or a government school building or, you know. So I think the challenge is how do we get people to own it? And I think the way forward for Nagaland is can we find this interface of, you know, different uh, agencies and departments rather than doing things in isolation? Can they come together and forge alliances, you know, within the different bodies? There is only so much communities can do with their legs and hands. And there are limitations to that. And so that is where getting the hardware was the challenge, you know. Um, so here, one of the challenge was also getting the people to understand that ultimately, look, this is for you. And because normally uh, local communities would say, is it our responsibility to build roads? Is it our responsibility to build bridge? Shouldn't the government build a bridge, you know? So f for getting communities to come together, the church or villages to say, look, let's not wait for government to come. Let us do it on our own, was I think one of the uh, major challenges, yeah? Then, of course, getting, uh, convincing people to come in, getting the departments to work together was definitely a challenge. But I also, the beautiful thing that I saw in this experience was, this time, it was people making convergence happen. I think it was the other way around, where the people reach out to border roads, people reach out to PHED, people reach out to road and bridges. And so I think, and I'm beginning to wonder, was it easier for convergence because people ask them to come? And, and so these were some of the lessons that we learned in this project. So do you think uh, right now our government is ready for that as well, to for departments to come together? And also, will it be a little more easier because we do have our bureaucrats that get transferred from one department to another, so they have a certain experience, certain knowledge of that department. So converging, would it be easier? I think, um, I think it's, uh, I, the, the whole thing is about perception and that whole mindset. Uh, because I think uh, if you look at the government structure, you have compartments and you don't work beyond your compartment. And I think we don't have a culture of doing things together. And so I think if we can break that barrier and perceive it in a different way that we're all actually here to do the same thing, uh, I think that's possible. But I mean, if you honestly ask me if the government is ready, I would say, uh, it will take time, but I think the outcomes outweigh the challenges, you know, the positive outcomes outweigh the challenges. So uh, it just needs one or two good people within different agencies or departments or in the community to break that um, glass ceiling and say, look, let's think out of the box and come. This is what we ought to be doing. I think it's easy if we do it together. Uh, so that kind of an idea, if it comes and seeps into the psyche of our leaders. Uh, finally, of course, it definitely needs political will. The government has to say that, I mean, doing things together, convergence has to become our culture of doing things. Now, how do we do that? It's only when the chief minister himself says, this is the way it's going to happen, so we have to work together and think, I think it's possible uh, for a small state like Nagaland. Uh, with these few projects that uh, you are also here for, uh, what is the biggest challenge you have uh, faced in Nagaland as a state? Communication, Communication. the road network. That, uh, uh, that makes it difficult, you know. Like I'll give you an example. Recently we conducted a survey in uh, Pasau. Pasau is a village in Mon. It is one of the easternmost villages very close to Myanmar uh, and I had, we had a team of uh, professional surveyors including a doctor and few ladies who came uh, for a survey before we set up our medical project there. So uh, for them to reach Pasau became a challenge, you know. They had to midway change a vehicle and then go across the, uh, the difficult place which the vehicle could not uh, cover so that's such and then to do the survey which was planned over a week it took 10 days 
because the traveling was so that that road network is a challenge indeed and so uh, how many people in you know according to your survey is going to benefit from this uh, people's bridge oh people's bridge is like 8700 odd households so you can imagine 30 to 40000 people who will actually get connectivity so this is going to be like uh, uh, i think a major uh, help to the locals it will be will bridge for osorbosi kan bishi laba ole ase aro 8700 core aro 35 to 40000 population kan laba ole ase naglen government do naglen laga communication aro connectivity develop korle bishi try kore ase manukan laga demand do fulfill kore dise edu bridge banai di na Zungdi Bosti Junction de Sumi Hobra first initiative loina citizen good road campaign to a June November 9 2021 bra shuru kurise flag off ceremony rakhina program de Sumi Hobra president Niketo Jimomi bra key note share kurise aro chutu modu digna dangor project to kuribule para aro itu laga confidence bra taikhan laga community de itu project karne initiate to lobo parishe ko ekina sumi community de example set kuribule mona se ko ekina koshe we are very happy to announce that we are getting a very we are getting very good responses from the uh, sumi uh, populace the charges they are not only paying for us but they are also donating uh, so much the local charges and the associations they are donating and we are also very thankful to our executive secretary of both the uh, intermont and the uh, isotho for appealing to the local charges to uh, participate in this uh, uh, campaign uh, we are also thankful to each and every one as our president has mentioned It is very encouraging to see one young student, young high school student, donating one thousand rupees from Kohima. Iniga hoi na ceremony flag of Korea Homoide. Zanibodo Deputy Commissioner Peter Lichamobra sumi hoge praise kuriye. Iniga pal initiative lagarne. Kindo taibra alak manukan garne nutu nasi kuriye. This project to be a success, and the people, not only Sumis. But I think the other tribes will also emulate our examples. Sometimes we cannot always depend on government alone. We have to do it by ourselves. Therefore, this is the step that we have taken. That we are doing something for the welfare of the people. This is a big challenge to the departments. This is a big challenge to the government. This is a big challenge to the people. the best institutions teach the most and not just teach a lot and i see as he believes in not just cracking one exam in life but in an education that can also equip for the exam of life every day is a feather added every day is a day conquered at nicse be in the team of goal achievers in the company of best learners an environment for daily steps daily efforts daily learning and testing daily corrections daily molding and daily succeeding for the ultimate success in exam crack the npc exam with nicsc coach with the best Naglende Sogabra healthcare delivery system aro facilities to bari attack improve kurule koshish kore na hi ase aro kumba du palbra healthcare services ti ase kumba bosti aro jaga de primary healthcare facilities to palbra function nagurigina medical staffs kan bi palbra services na dia thaga humoi timoburi thaga sovima sub center aro urban primary health center tangan bosti du palbra public healthcare services ti ar dihi pai ase ib itu laga detail report sawa reporter atona logode गवर्नमेंट 
every possible ways etu nimite public han ni blood test hoile bi they are they are uh, able to um, take the advantage of it blood test hoile bi ki ki hoile bi they can come and like they can get free treatment of course and then medicines and all where they can afford they are trying they are getting it from the center so uh, in every way the government is supporting us in every field that's for how we are running the center we are trying our best to give the best service to the people right now we have eight staff here and uh, two ana one pharmacist and four medical attendant with us and uh, we are mainly focused on uh, vaccination and immunization and uh, opd uh, vaccination and go balase abisha manaya sna and then like for opd patient we don't have that much now because we recently upgraded to health and wellness but uh, we look forward to facilities to lm1 he like yes almost all is there and the staffs here also very regular aro recently mohala sub center to it's been upgraded to health and uh, wellness center and we have just received an officer community health officer so we are very happy now in our health and wellness center will be opening an opd department and she will be there to treat uh, ailments which are minor and if it's major she will refer it to higher authorities in nigar kurina community ke help kurina jabole kuriya se Aji Beren Town de Beren District Legal Service Authority bra Legal Services Day kam mini camp observed kurishe District Legal Services Authority law Social Welfare Department Saki One Stop Center Beren District Child Protection Unit unit aro medical team bra Ayushman Parat kan bra bi camp de participate kurishe aro edu scheme aro service kan laga chan garidu general public kan logo chanai dise Hello, Bagi Tinde. Naglen Soga Bra Naglen Liquor Total Prohibition Act 1989 do hataigina partial prohibition group le papna kriya se goigina reports ahidaiye. Idu laga akede cabinet bra and LTB Act obor state chief secretary bra lead kriya committee ponaiye. Modality skande kam kriya ek moina laga pitore report submit group le. Report te aro goi thagishi ki Soga de thaga. High ranking officials Pishi Brabi confirm Grishi ki Soga Bra and LTB Act Laga Obor stakeholders can look at consultative meetings Aro Kutahan Kurigina Ahiase. Kindu Church Alak Noholibi and BCC Aro Mahila Laga groups Kambra prohibition Utade Kilaf Kuriase. NBCC Laga General Secretary Reverend Dr. Zelo Gihobra, Hornbill TV Ke Kotagwa Humoi, Sorgabra Alak Organizations Kan Laga Papna Nahoigina, Naloigina, Idu Face La Loade Kushi Napachanashe. Idu Laga Bor Ahibi, Sao. I feel uh, we uh, um, we cannot just uh, give up uh, because we have not uh, given a try. We have not given a try actually. Uh, the the good things that uh, uh, the act has has never been uh, implemented, mm -hmm. and the church, uh, in a way, think that uh, the act uh, will uh, protect us, mm -hmm. um, uh, will protect the inflow. But that is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we need uh, the church uh, need to uh, pick up uh, educating our people. Mm. The church uh, needs uh, to uh, pick up uh, 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 this ministry, that ministry with uh, the alcoholics, mm -hmm. uh, and also minister to the people who are involved in black marketing. Right. Uh, that part, I think, uh, we uh, we have not uh, given enough thought. Okay. So uh, when this came, I think uh, it is just uh, an easy escape. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, to say we will uh, leave that partially, but mm -hmm. uh, I think it has to, uh, to be taken to uh, the stakeholders. Mm. NMA is also involved. Uh, Very much we have yes. to uh, we have to also consider their leadership mm -hmm. and the role that they play. Mm -hmm. Uh, MBCC was involved. Mm -hmm. uh, we also need to take the confidence of uh, MBCC mm -hmm. in all this uh, process. Then the civil society, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
because uh, you know when we say civil societies uh, there is an urban based uh, civil society and also rural based uh, civil society they speak a different language because uh, uh, they experience things are uh, different. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think all those things has to be taken into consideration. Okay. Uh, uh, as of now, I feel that uh, uh, that is uh, the step that the government uh, should take. Mm -hmm. Come to uh, an open discussion. Uh, tell us what they are thinking. Mm -hmm. And also listen to us, uh, what we are thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, that is the part that uh, we are failing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much yeah, for yeah, speaking yeah, with yeah, me. Thank you. Thank you. Chun Sang Langa Parade Ground Day, Confederation of Chang Students Union Bra, No to Depression, Yes to Football, Koyakina Team Under Day, 29th Loyal Memorial Trophy Organized Kurishi, a G9th November 2021 Day. Ito Program Day, PWD Minister Tongbang Uzikam Bra, Special Guest Kuridishi, Taige Chun Sang Village Citizens Union Cultural Troop Bra, Receive Kurishi. Aro Ito Logo, CCSU Flag Unfurled Kurigina, Chang and Temdu Tagishi. Special Guest Minister Tongbang Uzikam Bra, Opening Ceremony. It's beautiful and I respect it laga Chang and Tem composer ge congratulate Kurina. Tell laga speech to Shuru Kurishe. We need so many things. The infrastructure to be created by the government. The dedication, the determination and the, the discipline from the players, the management also. It was so thick that we live here. Nagalendo, ita ita nursery, nursery of talents for football. For me, I have a dream. I'm the sabnak dasi, icha dasi. Within few years' time, I wish to see Nagaland as a nursery of talent in Indian football. Itu tak kasih aja lah kan kami news roundup. Aro ala-ala kubur kene amni ansai TV, Hornbill TV.